Hi there, this is Anne. I hope you are all doing good. In this video, I'm going to share with you the 28 forex pairs for the next week using the order block. If you are very new to the order block, please check the links in the description. There is the link to the tutorial related to the order block trading strategy. An order block is basically a point of interest for you to start looking for trade opportunities. All right, let's start with AUD dollar. So AUD dollar still in a downtrend and the last possible order block is around here. This is a swing high, this is a swing low, and this is the break of structure. And my order block is the last bullish candle before the breakout happened around here. Okay, so you can put an alert on the order block over here. Right click, choose trading, choose alert. There you go, an alert is here. You can start looking possible for sell entry around this area and your target could be the last low over here if the market broken this one so this is the first take profit target this is your second and this is your third take profit target also when you look left basically this price is bouncing above because of this take a look this is an old order block the price touch and then going up so sometimes an order block can be like a ping pong so there is also possibility when the price keeps going up you gotta pay attention when the price break this level the price may going higher then probably it's become a reversal but as for now it's still bearish so you still can look for a sell opportunities now let's go to euro dollar euro dollar also still bearish but it's almost close to the last low around here this was our last order block that i draw last week look this is a swing high this is a swing low and here is the break of structure with this candle and my order block is the last bullish candle before the breakout happened it has been touched by this now it's on our way it's probably is gonna reach here because this is your take profit target the last low so it's a kind of late if you want to sell from daily unless the price come back here sometimes the order block can be touched several times and then going down here and this is your first target and this is your second target okay all right now let's go to gu gu is also still bearish so let's mark our order block this is very clean this is swing high this is swing low and this is the break of structure and our order block is the last bullish candle before the breakout happen choose trading choose alert there you go you have an alert now so this is your order block and where is your first target your first take profit target is this one you see right now it looks very short from here to here and if you do not have time here when you find an order block you basically can just put 50 percent of the order block handle and here is your stop loss this is your entry and enter take a look to the next take profit target it can give you like one to six even if you enter from daily bear in mind sometimes the 50 percent is not touched at all and also sometimes it hit by the stop loss but if you believe the market is still going down if your stop loss is hit you just can re-enter again using the same level entry and the same level of stop loss and your take profit target always look left that is on the last low which is this one is the last low you see every single last low that could be your take profit target all right now let's continue to us dollar canadian it's an uptrend for now and there is a clear swing high swing low here swing high swing low and here is a break above and your order block is the last bearish candle before the breakout happened all right, this one is already touched, but I think you still have a chance to pay attention if you want to buy. So you still can take a look of buy opportunity around this area. I think it's going to go higher because it's obviously making a higher high and this is a lower high. So this is your order block. So for next week, you can focus on buy on US dollar Canadian. Now let's take a look on US dollar Swiss franc. Here is the order block that has not been touched yet. Here, swing high, swing low. And this is the break of structure. And your order block is the last bearish candle for the breakout happen. If you go to lower time frame and you want to sell from here, even though it could be a counter trend because the market is actually bullish for US dollar Swiss franc, you probably can make like 1 to 30 or 1 to 40 from here to here so you can try to find probably from m15 m30 and your target could be this i'm not gonna go there because we are talking about daily but if you 
looking for a sell opportunity then your target could be order block from the bottom okay so it's like ping pong this can give you a massive return if you sell from here to here it looks very short on the daily but if you go to m5 m15 or even on m1 you will see that you can have a massive return all right so let's go to us dollar yen us dollar yen is also in an uptrend right now currently there is no clear order block it is not happened yet but let's mark it anyways this is your swing low this is your swing high and right now we are just waiting a breakout either on swing high or swing low if it's a break above so there is possibility this red candle become your order block then if it is break below we gotta find out which blue candle that will become your order block okay so for now we still don't know we are still waiting to break this swing high or swing low let's continue to AUD Canadian here is the last order block this is swing high and this is swing low this is your break of structure the order block is the last bullish candle before the breakout happened again if you see the order block too big you can make it become 50% you can do that right but I will just cover it all so you know because it is based on the color here so this is your order block you can start placing an alert looking for sell opportunities around this point of interest let's continue to our Swiss franc it's also bearish and let's mark the clear order block here is a swing high this is a swing low you can also make this as a swing high it doesn't matter here is the break of structure and here is your order block the last bullish candle before the breakout happened so you put your alert and you can start looking for the sell position when the price reaching this area look i show it to you on daily but it doesn't mean you have to trade it daily but you know that this is a very good area for you to start looking for sell position you can enter either from h4 h1 or even m5 it doesn't matter but this is the point of interest for you to start looking for sell and it actually can give you a very good return because your target could be this one the last low from daily so you can enter from m5 or even m1 for example and your profit target based on daily last low let's continue i will see yen and this is also obvious bearish this is a bouncing area now take a look from the past one okay this is how wonderful the order block is where you can do ping pong sometimes this is the break of structure so this is the old swing high swing low and then here is the order block is the last bearish candle before the break above happened take a look it just hit and then go up now the market is still bearish so this is our swing high swing low and this is the break of structure and our order block is the last bullish candle so you can imagine when you understand the order block you just look left sometimes the market bounce for a while even though it is a counter trend but you still can make money around here so you can buy and then your profit target is the next order block so here is your next order block you put an alert in here and the moment your alert goes off and you can start looking looking for sell position and your first target is this one I would suggest actually when your alert goes off to trade it on a lower time frame could be from h1 or m15 so you can get a high risk reward ratio from this order block to this take profit target now let's continue on our see new zealand this is also a clear downtrend we got to be careful because this already reached the last slope but we also have possibilities to reach this one now this order block has been touched if we draw this like this look here is your order block oh sorry i have to put swing high swing low first so i do not confuse you so this is a swing high swing low this is break below and the order block is the last bullish candle before it happened and basically it's already touched but again sometimes the order block can be touched twice and here there is another order block actually that the market can come back to this area over here so before the market going down the market can go up probably touch this order block and then continue lower so this is your first target and this could be second if it is lower is it lower yeah it should be and then here is your third target okay so you want to sell when the price start reaching around this area even though it's already been touched but you never know it could coming back here look if you want to make sure whether the order block will work or not sometimes what i do i just draw the trend line like this sometimes you just can imagine let's say the market turns really slowly this could be the order block for you to start selling but if the market move very fast this could be the order block that become your point of interest you see the price coming back here touch the trend line and then go lower all right now let's continue to canadian swiss franc 
let's create a clear order block there is an order block here that has not been touched yet if we see this is a swing high this is a swing low and here is the break of structure and the auto block is the last bullish candle before the breakout happened let's see this could be another auto block for us which actually right now it is within the zone of the auto block itself so if you are looking for sell opportunities this is a good time and we don't know how the market react on monday around this area right but basically when the price is around the order block zone this is a good time for you to looking for sell order now your first take profit target is this all right so you do not need to put an alert you just can start looking for sell position like around here let's say if you want to put direct order when i said direct order it doesn't mean market order okay I mean you put an order on the time frame where you find the order block itself in this example I put it on 50% okay and then when I take a look the take profit target it doesn't reach one to five something like this I wouldn't take this my minimum should always take one to five let's continue on Canadian yen Canadian yen almost the same let's mark our order block this is a swing high and this is a swing low and this is the break of structure our order block is there you see it's actually already been pouched it goes way above this still can going down if this happened okay regardless the time frame let's say you put a 50% order around here and it hit a stop loss if you believe the market is still going down you can re-enter at the same level especially here the first target is the last low over here right it can give you more than one to five i would just re-enter swiss franc japan is also the same here's a clear order block that has not been hit yet by the price that is a swing high swing low this is break of structure and here is the auto block the last bullish candle before the breakout happened the price may touch this and then to go lower and then so your first take profit target would be this because around here i don't see any order block unless it breaks this structure over here right so you gotta wait but as for now the clearest order block is this one all right let's go to euro Aussie dollar it is in an uptrend this is swing high this is a swing low and here is the break of structure and this is the order block the last bearish candle before the breakout happened so you can put your alert around here and you want to focus on buy for this pair and your take profit target is around here okay so now let's go to euro canadian euro canadian still in a sell even though this is a little bit going up i think last week i mentioned that it can hit this one which it did right now we are not doing anything because there is no break of structure it could go higher or lower so what we do we just want to wait for the break of structure either swing high or swing low or you can also looking for the possibility for buy here but it will be counter trend take a look at this this is the order block because there was the break of structure here okay so your next take profit target if you buy around that area this is your take profit target but if the price breaks swing low you want to forget to looking for buy now let's go to euro swiss franc euro swiss franc is in a cell and the last clear order block is around this area this is a swing high this is a swing low and this is the break of structure and your order block is the last bullish candle before the breakout happens so this is your order block and if you want to start selling you wait until the price to come back here or you wait when the price break this structure okay because this is also a swing high and this is a swing low but there is no break of structure so there is no ready order block around this area so you just gotta wait okay but this one is already clear break of structure over here so this is the last valid order block for you so you can put an alert here now let's go to euro pound i think this is still in a cell you see because this does not break this structure unless the price break this structure 
then we can start looking for buy but as for now it's still sell to me so what you can do is you just wait for this swing high and then swing low we will see where the price breaks structure either the swing high swing low and then we decide our order block then we go from there let's go to euro yen now it's also in a downtrend right now let's mark the last clear order block that has not been hit yet by the price so this is a swing high this is a swing low and this is the break of structure over here our order block is the last bullish candle before the breakout happens so you can place an alert and your take profit target is this one all right now let's go to euro new zealand this is rather confusing to me i wouldn't trade this pair there is no clear swing high swing low so for now we will just wait this one swing high swing low and let's see where the price breaks okay if the price breaks swing low or swing high then you can start looking for the auto block now let's go to pound aussie and this is a clear uptrend this is the swing high this is your swing low and here is the break of structure your order block is the last bearish candle before the breakout happen this is your point of interest if you want to start buying so you wait the price to come back here and for now you just can place an alert around this area now let's continue to Great Britain Canadian this also still bearish because the price did not break this level yet so you only want to start looking for buy opportunities if the price break this structure for now we will just looking for sell opportunity in here it's a very big swing high swing low and you just wait the break of structure for this one now let's go to great britain swiss franc and here is the clear order block actually it is being touched so you can also start looking for sell opportunities for next week let me mark it this is a swing high this is a swing low and here is the break of structure already happened and your order block is the last bullish candle before the breakout happened look the price is already inside the order block basically you can start looking for sell opportunities and try to snipe it probably on m15 okay and your first target is this one so you just focus on sell for this grid pretend Swiss franc unless it breaks above the swing high. Now let's go to pound yen and this is also still a clear downtrend for now. And here is a swing high and this is a swing low and this is the break of structure. And the order block is the last bullish candle before the breakout happen. So this is your order block, it's not been touched yet and you just right click, set an alert over here so when the price reach here, you can start looking for sell trade and your profit target is this one. Let's continue for Great Britain New Zealand. This is also the same like Euro New Zealand. So zigzag, I wouldn't take this one because it's rather confusing so you just have to wait here to break this swing high swing low. So you just gotta wait for now. Let's continue to New Zealand Canadian. The market overall is still bearish and it's already break this level, I guess. Let's see. Ah, not yet because to be is not the body. So we are still going to looking for sell opportunity for this one. All right. The market still can go higher, but you want to start looking for buy if this level is broken with the body. At least that's me. Some people probably will see this already a break above, but to me, because the body is still below, so it's still more sell. So for for this let's just mark this one swing high swing low and you wait for the break above or break below okay if it is break below the swing low for this then you can start looking for the order block the last bullish candle if it breaks above then you start looking for the order block that is the last bearish candle for now you do not want to do anything here but overall the market is still bearish to me let's continue new zealand swiss franc it's also still bearish so here is the clear order block this is a swing high this is a swing low or you can also make this is a swing low it's just the same and here is the break of structure and your order block is the last bullish candle before the breakout happened oh it's already been touched by this one yeah but you never know the price may come back here and then going down so this is your point of interest for you to start looking for sell and your take profit target is this one the last low now let's continue to new zealand yen 
and this is also almost the same let's take a look the clearest one is this already a breakout let me make it bigger just to make sure my breakout should be with the body if it is not with the body then i do not consider it as a breakout and basically we are in the zone of order block right now let's just mark this one swing high swing low and here is the break of structure and your order block is the last bullish candle before the breakout happen over here so we are already in the order block zone right now so if you want to looking for the sell trade around this area is good your take profit target is this one all right you can go to m15 m30 h1 whichever time frame that you feel comfortable then you can look for sell opportunities because it's already within inside the order block all right now let's go to new zealand usd and let's see the last break of structure yep this one so here is the break of structure this is swing high swing low and your order block is the last bullish candle before the breakout happen now we are already within the order block so we can try to find an entry from lower time frame and you want to make sure the risk reward at least give you one to five around this order block area to here so if you can get it from m15 or m30 for example within the order block here and your take profit target here it would be really good all right guys i think that is all for today and some people ask me to also review gold so i'm gonna make another video where i will review gold and indices and including cryptocurrency as for forex that is all for today i hope you find this video useful thank you so much Bye bye